Hi, my name is Ann Adams and I'm with Green Heron Tools out of New Tripoli, Pennsylvania. We actually are a tool company that make tools that are designed for women farmers. The real story begins when actually we started Green Heron Farms, which is our farm, our little homestead in New Tripoli. And that came about very circuitously also in that my son is a chef, um, a gourmet chef, and in the early 90s there were no heirloom and heritage varieties of vegetables, uh, chickens, etc. in the Lehigh Valley. And then that led us to Grow for Markets, uh, which was um, a wonderful experience. In our other life, Liz Brensinger, who is my current business partner, we did consulting to not-for-profits and we did strategic planning, and the other thing that we did was we wrote grants, so we were very versed in grant writing. And then we decided that we needed something to supplement our market growing if we wanted to give up our consulting business, which we did. And we actually started to think that we'd just have a website and gather uh, tools together that work for women, and uh, women farmers really liked that. They could get something at one-stop shopping, uh, but as we started to explore, we found that there were no tools designed for women. And we thought, you know, maybe we missed something, we're doing something right. So we started to talk to people um, through our connections, through PASA, and we actually uh, talked to Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn is the founder of PA Wagon. And when we did, she told us about this SBIR grant, that there was funding available. And so we were off writing our grant to um, research tools for women. And throughout the year process, um, after we received the grant, we went around the country and many people in the wagons throughout the country really helped us in our process. They set up focus groups, they were incredibly supportive, they wrote us letters. Um, it was a really empowering um, time. And then, what we did find out through the research was that there are no tools for women in agriculture. No tools designed for women in agriculture ever. Um, and so that did interest the USDA when we funded to actually design a tool for women. It was based on all of our surveys that were online that were in the focus groups. And the first one we came up with was a shovel. And of September 26th, we actually had our little shovel in our hands, um, the first tool ever designed for women. It was, it is, will be, and continues to be a really exciting journey. And we just got funded and have been working on for the past year a tool that will actually take the place of rotor tillers. Um, and it will not have a gas engine, and it will not pollute, and it will not rip up your body, um, and it's going to be much, much better for the soil. And this is a really, really exciting process. We're working with a team of engineers up here at Penn State and an inventor and hopefully that product will come to fruition and that will be really really exciting. And so it combines everyone's background into bringing all the disjointed parts of our professional careers just led us to this place.